Welcome back, everyone. It's January 1st, 1942, first day of 1942 in the war, and we're here with another turn of Alphabet Command, our co-op game with Vogue and I playing against Annie Mack. Um, let's see what the uh, first day of 1942 has in store for us. Uh, this is the first day that the Chinese theater will become active. There was a uh, ceasefire in December in China on both sides, and now that has ended, so we may see some action there. Uh, we'll see. Looks like maybe a uh, bombardment here at Sinkawang. as he moves some surface task forces into the hex. Sorry, uh, very close to the coast of Japan. Unfortunately misses uh, this task force. Probably some dud Mark 14 torpedoes. Uh, some more PT boats kind of getting in the action there around uh, northwestern Borneo. And the Sea Wolf, unfortunately, uh, doesn't able, isn't able to do any damage to that task force. It's like a battle cruiser task force there near Port Moresby. Night naval search phase right now. Hudson's bomb Quantan, but aren't able to do any damage. Yeah, here comes a bombardment of Sinkawang. That is going to mess up our airfields pretty badly. We do have a lot of planes at Sinkawang, and they are overstacked, so that's unfortunate. Yeah. Um, the destroyed aren't so bad, but lots and lots of planes damaged there, unfortunately. And big runway hits, too. 47 runway hits. We just repaired the damage at Sinkuang, and uh, now we have more, uh, uh, more damage. That's unfortunate. Not able to build any forts there because of that. Looks like some more landings at Lihui. Yep. He was getting, I think, like a one to five there previously, so it makes sense that he's bringing some more troops to uh, uh, to consolidate there. And we're on to the day phase. Our last PT boat goes down off the coast of Sinkoang. Well, the Foudrillon, uh does get a hit on LSD-15. That's a nice high value ship to put a torpedo in, so good job to my French sub there. And we're on to the air phase. Sweeps at Singapore as usual. And also sweeps at uh, Port Moresby, taking out one of our buffaloes. A uh, demon's come and bomb Sinkawang, and after all of that uh, um, uh, bombardment, we really don't have much there. Liz is, of course, going after. Uh, uh, Pearl Harbor, and they're coming at 10,000 feet, um, which allows them to do some good runway damage there. Betty's and Nels go after the runway at Port Moresby doing some damage. 
Zero's sweep at Queen Shawan. Uh, to no effect, though. Large bombing at Liz, uh, doing good uh, damage on that first strike uh, to our defenders. We have a strike coming in, um, well escorted uh, with uh, some Devastators and Falcons. Uh, 14 Devastators and 11 Falcons make it through. Good hit on a uh, cargo ship, it looks like, and on a destroyer, but that's about it. So only one zero is down. Lots of our planes are destroyed. Yeah, we get a uh, hit on the Arizona Maru and the Uguri. Demons on uh, long range cap. Um, aren't able to take any zeros out, and those falcons are uh, uh, kind of swatted away. Wildebeest come in. Oh, and they do a nice job against that uh, task force. So yeah, 21 demons uh, come in very low. I think uh, he might have been... I'm not sure why they didn't get intercepted, to be honest. Um, we did have that long-range cap uh, previously that was at 20,000 feet, so it's possible that those zeros had uh, climbed to go after those. Uh, yeah, climbed to go after those uh, those demons. I'm not sure, but uh, good bomb hits here by our wildebeests on this task force. Have some sweeping over Sinkwang with demons and some moraines. Not really looking at destroying too many planes, just kind of degrading his cap. I mean, the fact that we don't get a positive ratio is honestly okay. Um, but we take out two zeros while losing three planes of our own. Another sweep. And this time we take out a zero to no loss. Catalina's at Singapore. Find uh, a ship out there in the South China Sea, but miss. Some Catalinas find shipping at uh, Buna, but there is some roof roofs on uh, um, Cap. Those float fighters are so pesky. Even when you think their uh, the group is uh, unescorted without Cap, those float fighters, basing off AMCs or cruisers, uh, can put up that Cap. No Cap here over uh, this uh, AP, though. But still, our Catalinas don't connect. Yeah, no dice here. We're bombing uh, east of Pegu, trying to slow these groups down by mode knocking them so they don't enter the hex of Pegu. Uh, this bombing raid is gonna get taken out. We're sweeping over Port Moresby makes me glad we didn't have cap there because that would have been would have been dicey Catalinas go after that cargo ship again oh there we go there's a torpedo first one was a dud but the second one did connect zero sweep Quang Shawan. And four of them go down. Uh, yeah, nice job by uh, my Moraines. Onto the PM phase. Dutch bombers go after this task force, but 
yeah, uh, they're good against cargo ships, but pretty terrible going after uh, combat ships like that. Catalina's come in, hopefully with some torpedoes. Yes, they, they do. Nicely done. We're going to lose some Catalinas there, which is unfortunate. Yeah, lost two Catalinas, but we get a torpedo onto the uh, battleship Hayuga. It's a nice little... Uh, Nice little feather in her cap there. Dutch bombers come in, are not able to uh, uh, land any hits. We do take out a zero while losing three of our own planes. So a little more sweeping here by our demons. Again, just trying to degrade that cap there. He loses a demon, but take out a zero. The Falcons come in, this time without any uh, uh, cap. They still don't manage to land any hits. Catalina's coming again after this cargo ship. There we go. Catalina's get through those roof cap, uh, but are not able to uh, place any hits, probably because of thunder horns, thunder storms in the hex. Five more Catalinas, and five more misses. We're losing Catalinas there to those damn roofs. And lose an S23 Empire. So costly day when it comes to PBYs. We're going to have to scale back our offensive uh, operations with them uh, until we build our pools back up. A single Val goes after one of our AKLs just doing a little supply run there. Catalinas, and three uh, torpedoes in the Soyukyu Maru, so it's a nice little pickup there. All in all, kind of a costly day for us in uh, the air, with uh, us losing a lot of strike craft. But uh, we did manage to to play some hits, especially with those wildebeests doing good damage to that invasion task force. A sub attack near Karachi. I do have um, these AMCs on patrol, which uh, they can't have the AMC mission, or excuse me, the, the sub patrol or the ASW mission, but they do have ASW value. So getting them to provoke attacks like this and then retaliate is something we want to see. We're on to Bombardment of Clark again. You can see some of his uh, divisions recovering uh, after being in pretty poor shape after that first attack. We can see some of their assault values are climbing back up. Ooh, that looked like it might have been an effective uh, bombardment. We saw uh, a few of our infantry divisions uh, evaporate there as uh, their AV decreased. I shouldn't say evaporate, but uh, we saw some of the squads uh, disappear. Yeah, so we lose a vehicle, one combat squad, and three combat squads disabled, but he loses uh, 12 guns destroyed and a vehicle destroyed, so I still think we came out ahead in that exchange. And we're going to return the favor, doing our own bombardment. Again, this is going to take a little while. I've said it before in my other games, but the bombardment uh, routine of the game is probably my least uh, favorite uh, uh, portion of it. Just it takes so long for nothing much happening. And we just do some light casualties there, but don't take any of our own. Wake. And Luhui, he now has 208 AV at Luhui, so he should be able to take, to take it. We bombard at Port Moresby. And do decent damage. He takes four uh, squads disabled, we take one engineer disabled. 
do a deliberate attack at Pegu based on the fact that he didn't look like he had a lot of uh, AV in the hex. And despite the fact that we do get a 13-1, the reason that we don't do more casualties and we suffer more is because this is an armor unit, and so we don't have very good anti-armor values. But we do take out um, 17 of his vehicles. So his casualties may not seem high, but those uh, 17 lost vehicles are actually a larger proportion of his AV than you may think. And that's it for the turn. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the Discord. Take care.